At hanggang sa makagraduate ako. Isa ba po, isa ba? Ganun lang yun. Pagpapahalaga sa pag-aaral. If you have that attitude in your mind, you will know value. I felt so blessed. Sabi ko, why not? To go to public service. In fact, naku, dyan na naman ako. Ah, wala yan. Artista lang yan. Pakit lang yan. Kasalanan mo? Kasalanan na maging cute. Bumalik naman ako ng eskwelan. Awa naman ng Diyos, ako'y nakapagtapos. Keep on trying. Wala namang mawawala sa atin. So, kung nangyari sa akin, pwede rin mangyari sa inyo. Wala nang imposible. Ako kayo. Hindi sumusuko. Ako po si Isko. Ako si Isko. Ako si Isko. Ako si Isko. Ako si Isko. Tayo si Isko. Usa ka pagtuo. Usa ka tingog. Usa ka katawahan. Cebu Catholic Television Network. Network. Live, gikan sa MTV CCTN News Center. Kini ang balita sa alas 12. Puluhan sa mga balita sa alas 12. Departamento sa Panglawas may pasidaan nga kung magtapok at sa Pasko, kutub lang sa pamilya. Limited nga face-to-face nga klase sa walo ka mga tunghaan din ni Sarion 7 magsugod na kanong November 15. Mayong unto ako si Dennis Tabar, kauban sa inyosang puwersa sa CCTA News Team. Kami muhatod kaninyo sa mga balita sa alas 12. Karoon sa detalye sa atong mga balita. Attorney Kenneth Lucero, ang pango sa Department of Interior and Local Government kung DILG sa Cebu City, ni Butyag, nga waton lang kung unsa ito mag-unya sa Interagency Task Force sa suwat ng ipada sa kagamanan sa dakbayan sa Sugbo nga naghangyo nga tugutan sila nga makaablis sa mga sabang gikan sa Oktobre 20. Tinuybe hangtod na sa Nobyembre 2. Kaya nun duman nga ang IATF ni Pagawas o ga Direktiba labot sa hulga sa COVID-19 apan ang syudad mi asoy nga dugay na nila kiningi pangandaman o padayon usab nga ni minus ang kaso sa COVID-19 sa syudad. Nang inaot si Atone Lucero nga dili pa maabot ang Oktobre 29 mupagawas na ugtubag ang IATF sa suwat sa syudad sa Sugbo. Duha ka mga tradisyonal nga kasaulugan ang nagsingabot nga kalagkalag og Pasko apan ang Departamento sa Panglawas din sa Naso ni Luat nagpamahayag ni nga Sabado nga ang panagtapok o pasagsalusal nga ang panagtapok sa kalagkalag ingon man sa Pasko wa gidili apan hugot nga giyawag ang publiko nga tali lang sa pamilya isip lakang sa pagpanagang sa pagtakboy sa COVID-19. Si DOH Undersecretary Maria Rosario Virgere ni Butyag at tulos sa laing handa public briefing nga ang uh, tuloh ka mga si sama sa close, crowded o ga close contact places kinahanglan nga ay considerar sa panagtapok. Apang gikinahanglan lang gihapon ang hugtanong papatuman sa health protocol. Si Vergere ni Auhag kadtong adunay mga sintomas nga dili moapil sa panagtapok bisan pagdili kini konfirmado sa COVID. Samtang si Vergere ni presidaan usab nga ang panagtapok sa political alang sa 2022 elections ang ayan usab kini nga bantayan. Ang Department of Health din sa Central Visayas may ngusog karon sa ilahang immunization drive alang sa mga bata. Humang nakatala lang og labing ubos nga porsinto ang nabakunahan sa Tibuok Rehiyon. Ang kasayuran ni Hatod ni Decime Padilla. Niadtong Sabado, Oktubre 23, ang DOH 7 ni Lusad sa ilang ceremonial vaccination activity sa Osaka Mall diha sa North Reclamation Area. Nagpainumdum kini sa komunidad nga ang mga minor de edad ang ngayon nga bakunahan aron maprotect tahan sa mga sakit sama sa polio, tigdas, tetanus ug uban pa. Nagkarayon si Dr. Jaime Bernadas, Regional Director sa DOH 7 ng immunization coverage rate sa unang unum kabuan sa tuig 2021 na alang sa 20% mo kini ang pinakaubo sa Central Visayas. Mato ni Bernadas, ang inoculation drive sa rehiyon batok vaccine preventable diseases ni Ubus Gyud. 
na sairan ang target immunization rate sa DOH 7 as a 95% kada tuig. Gihulagway sa DOH 7 nga pipla sa inundan nga nung ubos ang turnout ron sa immunization drive. Gumikan sa mga sayop na informasyon nga makuha sa mga tao. Ilabi na diya sa social media. Hinungdan nga dili na lang bakunahan sa mga ginikanan ng ilang mga bata. Giyawag ni niya maginikanan o mga concern sectors nga mabakunahan ng ilang mga anak labi na itong mga bata pa. Sa laing bahin, ang DOH 7 may asoy ang COVID-19 pandemic bilihin mo ang rason. Aroon ang mga bata dili mabakunahan. Hinoon, ang DOH 7 may asoy nga wala ray pagsaka sa mga kaso sa mga naasoy ng mga sakit sa Region 7 apan. Gimugatan ni Dr. Bernadas, dili na ang ngayon huwaton pa nga kinin mahitabo. Decime Padilla, CC10 News. Update sa COVID-19 din sa Central Visayas ang dakbayan sa Sugbo. Adun na lay 11 kabagong kaso kagahapon at lawa. Kini base sa report sa Department of Health, Mandawi, Lima, Lapu-Lapu, Tulo, Lalawigan sa Sugbo, Walo, Buhol, 11, Sikihor, 12, Negros Oriental, Duha. Sa Kiyatibukan, muabot lang sa 52 kabagong kaso sa coronavirus din sa Rion 7 kagahapon at lawa. Limited na face-to-face -face nga klase sa walo ka mga tungaan din sa Central Visayas magsugod na karong Nobyembre 15 ang kasayuran ni Hatod ni Decime Padilla. Gipahibaw ni Department of Education kung DepEd 7 Regional Director Dr. Salistiano Jimenez nga karong Nobyembre 15, 2021 magsugod ang limited face-to-face -face classes sa walo ka mga tungaan sa Central Visayas. Ang walo ka mga tunghaan nga gitugutan nga makapahigayon og limited face-to-face -face classes mao ang Basak Elementary School sa Sambuan, Mahanlod Elementary School sa Malabuyok, Kabagdalan Elementary School sa Balamban, Luyong Baybay Elementary School sa Bantayan, Kanyang Marcelo Luna National High School sa Uslob, Busay National High School sa Mualboal, Pilar National High School sa Pilar Esla sa Camotes ug Strokon Elementary School sa Bugu City. Netong adlong biyernes si Dr. Jimenez may sa Luyong Baybay Elementary School o gisusi ang kaandam ni Ini o nakita niya nga 97% na nga andam ang tunghaan. Usa na lang sa nakita nila nga dili pa andam sa maong tunghaan. Mao ang vaccination sa mga magtutudlo. Tungod kay sa 13 ka mga magtutudlo, doon na pa'y upat nga wala na bakunahan. Hinoon si Dr. Jimenez may asoy nga may pasalig ang mga magtutudlo nga makikalayon sila sa local government unit aron mabakunahan kontra COVID-19. Gipriparar na sab sa DepEd ang face mask, face shield o alcohol alang sa mga bata ingon man sa maginikanan o mga magtutudlo nga muadto sa tunghaan. Kung kaniadto sa usa ka klaso moabot sa 50 katinunan apan karon si Dr. Jimenez mi aso nga giusag nila ang ihap sa mga bata kada klase sama sa preschool, maximum nga 25 ka estudyante o sa grade 1 hangtod sa grade 3, 30 nga to sa 32 katinunan na lang. Samtang gihulagway ni Dr. Jimenez nga dako og tabang kun masugdan ang pagbakuna sa mga bata on nga nagidadug 12 anyos ngadto sa 17 anyos sa Region 7. Kay ang mga nagidadug 12 anyos ngadto sa 17 anyos na ana sa grade 7 ngadto sa grade 12. Sigun ni Dr. Jimenez kun ang mga tinun-an mubalik na sa face-to-face -face classes dili lang mga matutudlo ang vaccinated apan apil na ang mga estudyante ug ang kabala ka mamidusan. Decime Padilla, CC Tennis. Dabao City Mayor Sara Duterte Carpio niadtong Sabado naging tagbo kang presidential aspirant Ferdinand Bungbong Marcos o ga Senator Amy Marcos din sa Sugbo. Ang maong panag-abot mipainit og maayo sa mga hungihong nga siya mudagan sa nasudnong posisyon karong sunod tuig nga eleksyon. Sa managlahi nga Facebook post ni Duterte nga mga litrato nagbatuod nga nakigtagbo siya sa managsuong Marcos di adtong Sabado. Sa lain usab nga post ni Duterte nagpakita usab sa litrato ni Amy Marcos uban kaniya. Si acting Cebu City Mayor Michael Rama nakigtagbo usab kang presidential daughter ni adtong Sabado sa buntag. Wa ibutyag ni Duterte Carpio ang nisgutan at tol sa ilang panagtagbo kang Marcos ug ni Rama. Una nang nideklarar ang mayor sa Dabao nga dili siya mudagan alang sa labing taas nga posisyon sa eleksyon bisan pa sa mga panawagan sa iyang mga supporter. Si Sara Duterte mudagan hinoon ug balik isip mayor sa Dabao ubo sa iyang partido nga hugpong ng pagbabago. 
Mau kanto ato mga balita sa alas 12 sa nga sa tanang kaubanan sa CCTV News and Current Affairs, ako si Dennis Tabar. At ang ang atong Sairi 47 karong alas 5 sa hapon hangtod na sa alas 6 sa gabi. Up next ang Santos nga Misa Manukad Live sa CCTV Chapel. Daghang salamat.
coverage of the Holy Mass is brought to you by Mr. and Mrs. Nicolas Padillo and Family, Mr. and Mrs. Alfred and Julie Go and Family, Dr. Jean Rafanan and Family, Mr. and Mrs. Rene and Nanit Avila and Family, Mr. and Mrs. Lorenzo Bok and Family, Engineer Frederick and Mrs. Wanda Fekabahog and Family. Dear brothers and sisters, we offer this Mass for the intentions of all those who are commemorating their birthdays or anniversaries this month, and for all those who are virtually participating in this telecast and streamed celebration. For the needs of all those who tirelessly support the apostolate of CCTN through prayer intentions, love offerings, sponsorships, and reassuring goodwill. We are gathered in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, increase our faith, hope, and charity, and make us love what you command, so that we may merit what you promise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. <clears throat> Brothers and sisters, we are not tethers to the flesh, to live according to the flesh. For if you live according to the flesh, you will die. But if the spirit you put to death, the deeds of the body, you will live. For those who are led by the spirit of God are sons of God. For you did not receive a spirit of slavery to fall back into fear but you receive a spirit of adoption through which we cry, Abba, Father. The Spirit himself bears witness with our spirit that we are children of God. And if children, then heirs, heirs of God and joint heirs with Christ, if only we suffer with him so that we may also be glorified with him. 
the word of the Lord. from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus was teaching in a synagogue on the Sabbath, and a woman was there who for 18 years had been crippled by a spirit. She was bent over, completely incapable of standing erect. When Jesus saw her, he called to her and said, Woman, you are set free of your infirmity. He laid his hands on her, and she at once stood up straight and glorified God. But the leader of the synagogue, indignant that Jesus had cured on the Sabbath, said to the crowd in reply, 
There are six days when work should be done. Come on those days to be cured, not on the Sabbath day. The Lord said to him in reply, Hypocrites, does not each one of you on the Sabbath untie his ox or, or his ass from the manger and laid it out for watering? This daughter of Abraham, whom Satan has bound for 18 years now, ought she not to have been set free on the Sabbath day from this bondage? When he said this, all his adversaries were humiliated, and the whole crowd rejoiced at all the splendid deeds done by him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. The responsorial psalm of today reminds us of a basic tenet of our Christian faith. Our God is the God of salvation. Nothing else that God desires for us, it is our salvation. And one of the things or signs that we can look into as we hold on to God's salvific act is, in, is, is, is found in today's gospel. We hear and we see Jesus freeing the woman from her infirmity. And God's salvific act is manifested in Jesus' act of curing, of restoring back the health, the status, the dignity of that woman. And by this, we see that Jesus' mercy and compassion prevails. Unfortunately, undeniably, there are instances and there are those who would question this gesture of restoring back someone's health, someone's status, and dignity. They do so because, because of their too much preoccupation on the legalistic views and arguments and too much of such views or arguments that is of doing what is only legal we or it can hinder us to accept God as the God of salvation and for that matter we cannot be capable enough of spreading God's message of salvation my dear friends, it is good that today we are reminded by St. Paul in today's first reading. And I quote, For you did not receive a spirit of slavery to fall back into fear, but you received a spirit of adoption through which we cry out, Abba, Father. And the Spirit himself bears witness with our spirit that we are children of God, and if children, then heirs, heirs of God and joint heirs with Christ. Therefore, let us truly live and be heirs of God's kingdom and truly be God's children by participating in Jesus' act of salvation that those who suffer may feel comforted and be restored and received back their dignity as human persons created in the image and likeness of God. And that we truly express and show to others God's mercy and compassion through our works of charity. And by doing so, we claim that God is truly 
the God of salvation. We rise now for the prayers of the faithful. The better we know God, the more we realize our total dependence on Him. Aware of our limitations, we pray to God our Father as we say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the leaders of the church may give their lives totally in the service of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may have the generosity of heart to break through our self-preoccupation and try to reach out to others. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may see in the poor and those who suffer the face of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may console and comfort the sick and those who are in trouble, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the dead may live forever with God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord God, we commend our intentions to your provident care. Listen to our humble prayers and inspire us to be servants like Jesus, who hears the cry of the needy people. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Look, we pray, O Lord, on the offerings we make to your majesty, that whatever is done by us in your service may be directed above all to your glory. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, you stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so, with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose Palma, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him. O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. 
Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Shalom. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. I'm not worthy that they should enter under my roof. Don't he say the word, my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. O oh my God, my only hope, I have placed all my trust in you, and I know I shall not be disappointed. Let us pray. May your sacraments, O Lord, we pray, perfect in us what lies within them, that what we now celebrate in signs, may we, we may one day possess in truth through Christ our Lord. Amen. Oratio Imperata. 
Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health protect those who care for them, and grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all these through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick. Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel. Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod. Pray for us. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. of the Holy Mass is brought to you by Mr. and Mrs. Nicolas Padillo and Family, Mr. and Mrs. Alfred and Julie Go and Family, Dr. Jean Rafanan and Family, Mr. and Mrs. Rene Adnanit Avila and Family, Mr. and Mrs. Lorenzo Bok and Family, Engineer Frederick and Mrs. Wanda Fekabahog and Family.